Hello Taurus and welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy. I'm ready to jump into a current energy check for you darlings, you babies. Happy birthday to everyone celebrating. I am your biggest fans. I hope you all are celebrating as you should and as you deserve. So welcome in. If you're new, join us, do subscribe. Um, if I already said that. <laughs> However, so Taurus placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you know the drill. Cross watch is always welcome. Come on in. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to get you some messages from the universe to start off with Taurus, okay? Let's see. Current energy as usual. Timing is fluid in tarot. Okay, past is a minute ago and prior. Future is in a minute and beyond. Place yourself in this timeline as you see fit. Okay, do what you need to do with the messages, but don't force them if they're not for you. Okay. Flip it as much as you need to, whatever. But listen, someone is being held accountable. Someone is getting a divorce. Someone is being very, very, very manipulative and sly and toxic and borderline a thief as far as children are concerned or even a pregnancy. Um, it's not great energy, guys, I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> show me messages for Taurus, please. What do my darlings need to see today, Spirit? Some way, Rising and Venus. My balls. Okay, when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Yep. Go out, have fun. I am I swear this come out last Taurus season. Enjoy yourself. Make sure <clears throat> you are showing yourself what you deserve. Treating yourself like you deserve. Loving yourself the way that you should. You're only attracting support from the universe. Something's going on. Something's, oh, because you're completely protected, by the way, which is what I also see. Throw out some kind of crazy, either legal situation for some of you or karmic situation for others, especially those of you that are going through some kind of marriage, settlements, divorce, crazy shit as far as kids are concerned. Whoever that message is for, whether it's you, Taurus, or Crosswatcher, you're very, very, very divinely protected very protected throughout be reminded of this don't let someone get in your head don't let something ex external circumstances don't let it take over go out and enjoy yourself show me Taurus's energy okay i let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love oh it goes it can go a couple of different ways this card for me someone's going through an awakening big time but this is also someone coming back from the past and you're going to look at them in a completely different way. Someone is choosing to be happy. Someone is being pushed and urged by the divine to be happy. Do what they feel is happy for them. Boundaries. Something's going to go in someone's favour. Something is not going to go to shit. I don't know what's someone's mind frame is quite, or mentality is quite negative. Um... I did see strong divine masculine energy, but this, you know, any one of us can sit in that, male or female. Um, someone that's got to do something big is being very protected or, you know, flip it as you need to. You could be being protected from this kind of overpowering, overbearing individual that you're dealing with. Someone's dealing with something. Oh, yeah. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep releasing. Keep blowing it away. Return to sender with love and light, with blessings. What is out of my control is, you know, I just leave it to the divine. Leave it to the divine. There is no point in wasting precious energy on shit that you cannot control. You know, other people, most definitely, you can't control them. You can't teach stupid. You cannot do fuck all as far as another person is concerned. All you can do is control yourself, your own reactions, your own responses, your own karma. I don't know why I've just got into that, but, you know, someone's fucking themselves over. Because you're crazy protected. Bottom of the deck, in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love. 
So I feel like there's purpose, <clears throat> jealousy, um, you know, there's people that should care about you or should love you or people should support but they don't. There's, <clears throat> I feel like there's a lot of jealousy and you can feel this. I feel like you're embracing your empath side as well. You know, you can feel a lot and it's a blessing and a curse. Unfortunately, what I think a lot of you may be experiencing, whether it's this year or recent, but your seasons, you know, no one goes out of the way as much as you do for others during theirs, you know, but that's not, you know, you're being told don't let that stop you. You go and do what you want to do. Whatever that means. <laughs> Sean Taurus messages, look, what the fuck? Not great energy, but you're being protected from it. This person's going to be sorry. And yes, <laughs> this is my old faithful, one of my day one decks, and I still love to use it. I still love to use it. Um, it's still got some life left in them yet. <laughs> right, you're going to find out who this is. There's someone closer than you think that is screwing you the f screwing you over or uh, you know something's going on within them look what this is twice now i've seen this in this deck divine protection big look you're destined for greatness and you've got a lot of people trying to sabotage that in whatever way they're not gonna it's not gonna work someone's gonna be outed someone's being outed as being a, a really 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 bad person I'll just say that. Someone is dealing with a very, very, very unwell individual. Someone wants to know where you live, Taurus, or what you're doing at home. Someone wants to know where you are, where you live. A lot of you have moved or um, moved out or this could be someone that you've kicked out. Someone is thinking about you at home and what you're doing there in a quite a sexual way. Um, because for the best part of you, this is someone that you've either once upon a time wanted to reach out to you or you still do. Um, but I feel like a lot of you have surrendered that. A lot of you are in a legal situation or some kind of going to court or applications, documents, important shit, binding. It's you're going to be celebrating. You're being recognised. You're going to be toasting, cheers in. Oh, yeah, you are. Um, the divine is so in control of your love life. It's unbelievable, Taurus. Show me messages for Taurus, please, for what do they need to see today? Some moon rising in Venus. Murky thoughts, card number 33. Someone's thinking about you sexually, but this is going to go all ways. I feel like you've got it on both sides. Um... You know, murky thoughts, it's malicious, devious, or it's sexual, dirty. <laughs> um, I feel like it's on both sides of the fence, to be dead honest. Show me more. Oh my. Hope, big war talk, card number 39, and then marriage, card number three. Uh, the number three is very significant to you right now. Angel number 3333. Three, three, three. Um, you could be seeing that a lot. Multiples of three. Some of you... <laughs> some of you are in a situation that you really don't want to be in. Some of you, this is someone that you have previously been committed to. Um, that you... Know. Want you. This person could be... Been, been being very passive aggressive. Especially those of you that have been going through your own kind of divorce or separation or someone that you've already been separated from maybe for quite some time they could have put you through a lot of shit they only did that because they're crazy in love with you like someone's crazy in love with you and this is either someone that you've been married to or committed to or someone that's in a connection that you was kind of on a you know someone that you met that was unattainable it was already in a connection either way you know however it goes you've surrendered it and i feel like you keep doing so for whatever reason 
Keep doing it. Am I making sense? For some of you, this is someone's relationship or such marriage commitment that you know's crazy toxic and you've kind of told someone this but you've left him to deal with it in a way you know some of you that could be your you know your child in a toxic abusive relationship because someone's been in one and you've just left him to come to that come to that come to that kind of like realization in their own time which is which is what i get you know i'm even making sense yeah something's been going round and round and round and round again and for a lot of you it's a relationship someone that you've been married to or someone else's marriage <sighs> bloody hell you're great your abundance is so protected keep manifesting keep showing gratitude you've got a lot of jealousy surrounding your abundance don't let it phase you just stay protective of it you know show me taurus's messages someone's becoming single someone's becoming single a lot of you this is you and a lot of you is someone else someone is choosing to put themselves first um, a lot of you that have been going through your own kind of toxic divorce or something like that, this person just probably like infused through you at some point that like you'll never do it without them and you've done nothing but the opposite, like you've done everything bigger and better without them and they can't deal. <sighs> it's going to be so different for all of you. General reading, not personal. Like, oh, there's a new phase coming. Listen, this is either someone that you've been committed to coming back or it's someone getting out of a commitment to come to you. That's probably as plain as simply as I can put it. Whoa, yeah, wedding rings. Uh -huh. Someone's going to be reaching out to you. Wow, you're soulmates. Jeez. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Somebody rising of Venus. What my Taurus is need to see? love you love yourself right now and someone is all over that and again it's in our ways make your thoughts you know some jealous of the way that you do love yourself i hate that but again we can't control people um and this is someone crazy attracted to you and just all over you the way that you're loving yourself like someone just underestimated your potential in a way do you know what i mean show me what uh, Someone here that you absolutely know full well has not been showing their true feelings. A lot of you want this, or you wanted it, but this is why we need to keep surrendering. Um, I feel it's a massive push and pull back, push to and fro, and someone's avoided this situation because they've been in a relationship for a lot of you. <clears throat> and some of the some others of you, this is someone that you've been committed to, and they've just avoided you. For what because they were, someone's avoided dealing with the situation someone's blamed you for a situation that's gone on oh stabbed in the back i'm feeling a big blamer someone's someone's about to take a risk and come towards you someone's just someone's eyes are all over your guys um going to be so different for all of you this is either your ex-husband or it's somebody's or wife or it's somebody's somebody's separating to come towards you mm, wealthy man you know what i just feel like the moral of the energy is Whoever is going through a very abusive and toxic relationship, you are being divinely guided out of that. Um, and you're going to be fine in doing so. Some of you, this has already happened. Some of you, this isn't you, it's someone else. But whoever that may be, it's also a cross watcher. It's going to be fine and there's going to be new from it. And a lot of you have already found that new. It's just been unattainable. Um, 
and a lot of you it's a renewal someone is really 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 wondering where you live something going on with your house <clears throat> oh this is someone's house someone's living situation false person someone's living with a liar someone's living with a liar someone's lying about something what the fuck is going on i don't like the energy guys at all for some of you this is nowhere near you and it's in this first this it's in someone else's dynamic someone else's relationship um but you're being told about it or and for others of you this is yours or it was once upon a time <laughs> i hope i'm making sense someone again 33 someone's worried someone's worried you're leaving someone's honestly a lot someone's wondering where the fuck you've gone So maybe this is someone older than you. Honestly, there's so much victory surrounding you and a child situation, Taurus, okay? What kind of message that is for you, I don't know, but there's a lot of winning. Winning, winning, winning. And if those of you that's not a child, it's a rebirth. There's a lot of winning. Give me Taurus's messages. You're winning. <laughs> Look, yay. Sudden wealth. Look at the energy. Message. Great fortune. High honours. Wow. 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 Courtship gift. Listen, you're going to be in a relationship. Someone's going to be reaching out through a friend, through a family member, or just doing it themselves. Uh, but someone's going to be reaching out because they want to be with you. Um, someone's leaving some kind of fake-ass life behind. Um, you're going to be getting a message from someone. And again, it's divinely guided. There's a lot of winning. Winning, winning, winning. High honours. Shit has not been easy. Quite the opposite. But you've not given up. Do not give up. There's a message that you're destined to receive. You go and receive it. A lot of you could be coming into a shitload of money. Don't share it. There's a lot of good news coming. There's a lot of amazingness coming. There's a lot of winning coming. I love, 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 love that energy. Love, love, love that energy. And someone's going to be asking you out. You're a gift, Taurus. Someone sees you as a gift. Whether this be your ex-spouse or someone leaving a very toxic environment to come to you. Whatever. I mean, you could believe in yours and go into someone else also. <laughs> I know the amount of different ways it can go is... Um, but, you know, you can all fill in your own blanks as you need to, I am sure. Show me Taurus's messages. Look, poker face. Someone's about to take a risk, take a chance. Someone's about to take a gamble. Someone could have a gambling problem, spending money problem. Someone could be partying a lot, drinking a lot. Um... Some of you have got some very sabotaging friends. Just saying. Someone's reminiscing. Someone's thinking about you a lot. Someone's learning from their past. Oh, sudden shock. Shocking news. Sudden change. Surprise, epiphany, transformation. <gasps> oh, date. Oh, see, my throat chakra just closed up then. Date. <laughs> You're going to get an invitation very unexpectedly by someone that you have already learned from already surrendered time and time again for a lot of you um you've manifested this for a lot of you oh. show messages for taurus please someone that you felt loved on by for a lot of you show me taurus's messages What, poker face, ship, picture. Someone is desperately hoping that you've not moved on from them. Someone is trying to reel you back in. <laughs> You're trying to move on from this. 
again, according to ties. The normal. So when he's looking at the pictures. However they are doing that, it's happening. Cutting out, separation, someone that you've got over, cut out, released, surrendered. Someone is also stopping a ridiculous pattern. Someone that you've not spoken a word to. Someone that's giving you silent treatment. Oh, the bloody hell. Honestly, you're going to get some crazy-ass surprise invitation. <laughs> Let's get some more. Open your heart. You're being told to open your heart. Someone's on the way. Someone's coming back around. Or someone in... You do know who this is for the majority of y'all. They'll be back. Jesus. Okay, thank you. That was clear. Someone that you've already dealt with. They'll be back. And you're being told to open your heart. Look, move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. Someone that you've closed the door on. Someone that you've closed the door on. You have considered this person a fucking time waster. Oh my. Show me Taurus's messages. Someone is not done with your Taurus. I'm telling you now. Pets. Some of you are getting a new animal, a new pet, a new baby, a new familiar. Oh, some of you could have lost one recently. Um, if so, you've been advised to get a new one. Um, yeah, I know that's difficult. I'm sorry for your loss if that message is for you, but you are being told to make room for the new beginning on its way, which could be another baby um another pet um others of you you very much connect and resonate to your butterflies as as some ink <laughs> you've got pets let go some of you've got a new pet Show me Taurus's messages. Yes, luck is on your side. Hell yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Honeymoon. Guys. This is someone that you could see yourself marrying. This could be someone that you met at a wedding or someone that you were just head over heels in love with kind of thing or you fell for like or it's you're being told yes this is going in the right direction honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding and i feel <laughs> show me more oh gold digger gold digger we want your money being used gambling problems with addiction or gambling bad finances so yes luck is on your side have they got someone's got some money issues or someone's got someone attached because this is hitting the marriage someone's married to a gold digging bitch Listen, if this is someone that you've been married to or committed to previously, they could have left you for, like, some of that looked well better, you know, at the time. Or so they thought that twat was only there for the money or for some kind of status. I feel like they spent a shitload of that money. Someone spent someone else's money. Someone's only there for someone else's money or status. Uh, whether this is your partner, ex-partner or someone else's. You, however, are being told that, yes, luck is on your side when it comes to this situation. However that fits. Patience. Just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. They'll be back, Jesus. 
So this is someone else for a lot of you. Someone else has been dealing with a gold digger that's got issues. Oh my, am I making sense? So this is either someone you've that you've been married to or committed to. They left you for a karmic gold digging waster. Or this is someone that you met that was already in this shit relationship and they're finding out that their karmic bitch is a gold digging addicting codependent fucker either way someone wants you <laughs> wowzers i don't know if we're talking riddles half the time so to sum up let's get to his messages sacred cow mm, aries energy and that karmic could have been anything a friend family member you don't have to be romantic the empress you're going to be faced with a decision oh do i or don't i do i or don't i this could have been someone that made you look a complete fool in some kind of way someone could have blamed you for a situation some kind of crazy bitch could have blamed you for a situation taurus in some kind of way someone wants to apologize but they don't know if it's going to be received or they want to reach out, but they don't know if it's going to be received. They're wondering on what to say. That's why someone wants to know where you live. Someone wants to do it more face-to-face. -face. Someone that's been away for a while for a lot of you. Someone that you consider as a non-committal, selfish piece of shit. That's who you think this is. Yeah, someone that kind of emotionally manipulated you to get what they want. That's what you think this is. So whether this was some kind of work colleague, or there was a friend, or a mutual friend involved. Um. Mm -mm. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Strength. Leo energy. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. I have Leo in your chat. Show me more. You're quite untouchable, Taurus. I love that. I love that. Love that. Love that. Prince of Corpse. You're gonna get an apology. If someone wants to apologize. I'll reach out to you. They need to gather the balls up, though. They need to pick up their lady balls or their man balls and do it. Show me more. Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're gonna be re you're gonna be hearing from somebody. Someone wants to reach out. It's gonna be softly, softly, or it's gonna be an apology of some sort. Um, but it's like it's gonna be happening. <clears throat> it's a lot of communication that. And you're like quite fierce right now. They're kind of tiptoeing around it. They don't know what to say, how to say it. Um, someone knows you're very divinely protected. Someone knows you don't give a fuck. Um, show me Taurus's energy. Death. Scorpio energy. Someone wants a rebirth. Someone wants to tell you something's ended. Something's over. Something's dead. Some of you, this is someone that you've already put things to bed with, like I say, and it's coming back for a rebirth. One more. The moon and the queen of swords. You're going to be like, okay. <laughs> You're going to be like, okay, Mr. Half, Mr. or Mrs. Half a Truth. Or what's going on with the secret bitch? Or there's some kind of mystery when it comes to somebody else because I don't feel like this is you. Um, could be dealing with a cancer. Someone's got someone very toxic attached to them. Very <clears throat> money, material, kind of using, manipulative, bitter, cries like black tears. Someone cries fake tears. Someone should turn on the waterworks whenever. Male or female, guys. Someone's wearing a fake mask and it's down to, listen, I know that Tauruses love the luxuries, yeah, but this bitch takes the piss. Someone is only happy spending someone else's money, like, and it's all for show. It's, someone's burning a hole in, someone's trying to burn a hole in the fucking, like in, in Destiny, in the, do you know what I mean, in the divine plan. Someone's trying to burn a hole in your clan, your destiny. 
like trying to burn the arcade scrolls like when it comes to you and your destiny she's a bitter bitch whoever this is someone thinks that someone's like lying about going through an awakening and they're not um Do you know what I mean? Someone acts maybe like spiritual and they're just not quite the opposite. The star could be an Aquarius. Someone is very jealous of your connection to a divine. Someone is very jealous of your connection with a very particular person with the two of cups behind that. And the five of wands, yeah, very jealous. Didn't see the five of wands and I felt was jealous when I was looking at that star card. Someone can't stand you, guys. Someone can't stand you and... More to the point, someone can't stand you being with whoever this soulmate is of yours. Whoever you have got a very genuine soul connection with. Like, you become one. Very, very jealous individual. Some of you, this is like a mother-in-law. Or this, you know, someone's toxic baby mum or baby dad or parent or sibling or friend. Or something. Someone really doesn't want you two being together, whoever this is. There's someone in the middle of it. And they benefit from that person financially, massively. In some way. Am I making sense? Let's clarify. The Ace of Wands. Some of you are beginning to create something that you are very passionate about or you're are you going to um it's going to bring success hard work but successful don't tell too many people that you don't need to tell either like especially not when it comes to your creative ideas like your inspiration or even where it comes from or just even slight you know crazy ideas that you think are too out there don't even share them because they're not and someone's ready to steal it all do you know what i mean Page of Swords, yeah. Someone is ready to steal all of your Ace of Wands. Some of you, it's nothing to do with that. It's about your sex life. Someone's desperate, desperately wanting to know what your sex life is. What it's... <laughs> how active, if at all. Or, wow, someone is talking a lot about you. A lot. Someone's talking a lot about your sex life, for some of you. Um... We got going on to us the knight of cups the moon strong cancer manager so someone's going to be revealing the feelings and it could get this message at night time or this like when this person feels safe <laughs> which is crazy but that's what i'm getting someone's got to be in some kind of safe space or even being protected by another person to be able to say what it is that they want to say what the fuck um Someone might go through someone else to get a message to you, to be honest. Because that's a safe way to do it. That's insane, but that's what I say. Show me this, and for a lot of you, that's not you having to do that. It's someone else in that position, but flip it if, as you need to. Show me this. A lot of you are that intermediate for some. Um, but again, that may only be for one of, you know, not many of you are, but... Hmm. For quite a lot of you, you're chill, stable, secure, comfort, very self-focused. And someone's trying to get to you in some kind of way to reveal the feelings. <clears throat> and they have to do it in some kind of safe way because of whoever the fuck is attached to them. It's mad what I'm getting. But show me this strength, please, for Taurus. Nine of Pentacles. Someone is becoming single for a lot of you. Someone is doing what they need to do, picking up their balls, finding the strength, the courage to do something that they need to do, to set boundaries, to put themselves first, to become single. A lot of you have already done this. A lot of you have dealt with this situation and thought, fuck that. I'm well too good for that. And that's why someone <clears throat> really, really doesn't know how to necessarily apologise or what to say or if it will be accepted. Show me more. Feel like to pop out then. The King of Cups. Someone has got some crazy ass feelings for you, but they've 
not been able to say it or to even feel it. Show me one more. The Ten of Cups, wow. Someone wants you on another level. Someone wants you. They know that they can be completely happy, content, relaxed, full. With genuine love. A bright future, a happy future, um, a loving future. You're not included in this right now, though, in that Nine of Pentacles, Pentacles energy for a lot of you. Or someone, or you're getting out of a situation because you've got feelings for someone else. And it's difficult, but it's happening. Wow, the Seven of Swords, the King of Wands. Someone is done lying, the Six of Pentacles. Someone, is, someone can't live a lie no more. Someone can't live a lie. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone is holding back on what they are so passionate about, and that is you. Right. Someone's lying about passion as well, with all that shit that I've seen before. Talking a lot of shit about your sex life. Lying. Samink, what? What the friggin' hell? I feel like there's a divine masculine going through some kind of major 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 crazy divine intervention like in a few ways like what well, it is what it is show me this prince of cups please for taurus show me this prince of cups someone wants to reach out but they're quite you know soft let's just stand back we'll, we'll extend quite forward in a in a nice loving way, um, in a soft way, in a gentle way. But they stood back. <laughs> Borderline protecting myself. Show me this Prince of Cups, please, for Taurus. The Three of Wands. Someone's been waiting. There's been time waited. Waiting. The moon and the night of cups. Someone's had to wait to be able to express the feelings. Someone's not been allowed to feel what they feel for you. They haven't. They've had to wait. They've had to deal with something. Something very. Listen again. This I've never really noticed this in this card, but the you know the three of wands. One's on fire. Someone's insane. Someone's had to deal with this insanity. This. You know. For these two. So feelings have had to be contained, hidden. You can feel this on another level. Oh, she had her titties out. I don't, don't get um, penalised for that. But someone's not been able to tell you how to feel. Someone's been telling you this telepathically. Like, as, you, as an empath, you can feel how much someone loves you, but it's just in the 5D, and you've had enough of fucking that. So you keep surrendering this, but they keep drawing you back in. They absolutely do. But you, you've gotten in, into the habit of just repeatedly surrendering it. You're doing that well. <laughs> Am I making sense? Patience. Ooh. Someone's had too much patience. So in the steps of the divine. Someone's mask is being blown off. Someone is going through an awakening. Big eyeball. Something's going crashing down for someone. Could be Sagittarius or a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But someone's took too long. And again, the emperor. The divine masculine. Someone's took too long to take control to do something someone really really real again whether this is your ex-spouse or it's somebody else's they devastated at the fact that they fucked you over in whatever way they devastated at the fact that they fucked you over and i don't think they've ever 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 told you that but it's stupid strong in the energy it's just who and what they've fucked you over for it's like, it's on another level. Confirmation. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Show me the state of wonders, please, for Taurus. But these are messages. Come in fast, fast, fast. Fast. Like. Show me what the state of wonders is, please. Death. Wow. And this is on the rebirth side. Five of Pentacles. Someone that left you feeling like a fucking knobhead. Like, wow, what just happened there? 
someone that ghosted you. One more for the Eight of Pentacles. Someone that you do not speak to or and possibly never have since some kind of crazy situation where you was possibly blamed. You've never spoke to him since. You're going to. They're going to be reaching out. Show me one more. Wow. Yep. Judgment. Reconciliation. Someone could be coming towards you with a child um, for some. Or oh, this is someone that you've got a child with and it's reconciliation, 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 reconciliation from someone that you have not spoke to, not dealt with. Someone that could have left you feeling absolutely abandoned. Someone that, it, you know, could have fucked you over when you needed them most. Especially if this was your ex-spouse. There was a situation where you needed them most and they completely left you out for dead. Or this was a situation where you met someone and they was unattainable. You was completely blamed. They left you looking like a fucking nugget. And they're coming back around. <laughs> Someone's learning from their past. It's took them a long time to do so. Someone's took a while to see what is reality. No joke. Again, everyone gets there in their own time, in their own time, you know. You cannot control anybody else or their path. Only your own. To a degree, until divine intervention plays. And this is going on. Um, could be dealing with the Scorpio. Show me this death energy, please. So it's ending. The Empress, the King of Wands, the Six of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Someone is ending the thing with a baby mama. And going towards new love. Oh, for a lot of you, this is a mother. Or some kind of mother. Someone's dealing with some kind of overbearing mother. Or some kind of overbearing baby mama. Or this is, you know, flip it overbearing baby daddy overbearing father figure someone is dealing with someone that's very overbearing someone should be you know loving and caring and giving and maternal and nurturing and you know and they're not they're quite the snake someone is moving away to, away from that and going towards these cups new love someone is ending something and for a lot of you this is you and for others of you this is someone ending a situation. For a lot of you, it's the Divine Masculine. For those of you that this isn't you, yeah, for the, um, that's going through the situation, especially my t single Tauruses, for the majority of you single Tauruses, there is a Divine Masculine ending a situation with a very fucking weird baby mom. Like, even to that gender specific. Don't force that if it's not for you. But for a lot of you, that's going on. And others of you are you are leaving a very toxic partner someone could be very sexually toxic as well someone could be very overpowering in a sexual kind of way right um for a lot of my divine feminines my women especially you've got a very you could have a very overbearing partner sexually and you have got new weight in someone has got new weight in right there i'm telling you that now and some of you are, someone is taking a child and going towards that. I can't even deal with what I'm reading. Don't force these messages if they're not for you, okay? Celebration. I mean, you're going to think about it. You're going to think about it. Is it possible? Is what you're going to think. Can we be happy? Can we do it? Can we be victorious? Can we celebrate? Can this be a thing? Can we all get a fucking long? Maybe. Trust your intuition. You know someone needs your advice or needs your light, needs your guidance, needs your, needs your energy. Someone's lost without you. Ooh, what is going on? Show me this moon, please. Show me this moon and a Jeff Taurus. The star, the ten of pentacles. Someone knows you're there, ten of pentacles, but they've not, they've not been able to act upon it. Again, this... Three energies in this card. One, two, three. Third party situation. Someone's been keeping secrets. Someone's not been allowed to have you. Tell me that now. Or you've not been allowed to have your person. Someone's been getting away, getting in the way of this. Two people coming together and creating something absolutely legendary. Mega, mega, mega abundance. This is the who you're manifesting, Taurus. That star card. Something that's already caused destruction in some kind of way as well. One more, this moon. The two pentacles. 
oh, okay so this was a thought and now you're gonna now you're gonna weigh it up can we that's what you're gonna be because of this bitch i'm not even kidding because of this queen of swords bitch male or female whoever has got the insanely toxic person attached to him um like the other side the other person's gonna be wondering fucking hell do i can i do i want to deal with that can i deal with that the king of swords the page of swords the three of swords someone's watching you and getting like hurt as they do like the longer they don't speak and just watch the more pain they're causing themselves mm-hmm wow show me this queen of swords please this fucking poorly cow show me this queen of swords please for taurus i can't deal the four of wands someone is fucking weird someone is weird a weird bitch a weird twisted toxic bitch but to other people, yeah, comes across as some kind of little angel, male or female. Someone is a sh crazy little narcissist, crazy, manipulative, gold digging, codependent, obsessive, harsh with the mouth, narcissist. Show me this queen of swords. Someone's using children, page of cups. Someone is using children to ransom here. Mm-hmm. One more. King of Swords. Someone's about to say, no fucking way I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm someone's about to get off with the kids. I'm not even kidding. Um this King of Swords, what because I seen it in this side a minute ago. The more they just stand still and watch, the more they're hurting themselves. They've done. Someone's about to speak. Someone's about to speak some shocking truth. Someone's about to do what the fuck they want to do. Someone's about to take control of the situation with a bitch male or female that is a twisted twat as far as using children as a weapon is concerned and just so toxic it's to keep a situation together which should not be together karmic as fuck we've got the king and the queen of swords here karmic as fuck this king of swords always ready to speak to this bitch listen again male or female Whoever is in the divine masculine energy right now is ready to take fucking control. Right, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Divine protection, it's gonna go okay. Whoever that whoever's doing that, you're gonna be okay. You know, someone's managed to get in someone's head, play mind games, manipulate someone's reality, and you know, you'll never do anything without me. You'll never be this, you'll never get especially those of you that this is someone else's person, yeah. And they're like, you'll never get Taurus. Taurus will do this. Da, da, da. Someone is a fucking weird ass individual, I'm telling you now. Someone needs fucking help. Let's get you some angel answers. I hope that's made sense because that's what we've got. But someone's about to stand up for themselves. Go this. King of Swords. Could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this is someone that you've told no. Or they told you no. Oh, yes. Now it's a yes. Jesus. Someone is telling someone no. Remain positive. It's like everything's going to be okay. You don't know you need to hear that, but everything's going to be okay. Helpful people. Be assertive. Someone is, rightly certain, someone's surrounded by the wrong people. Someone's getting the wrong advice. You know. Someone is realising all a lot of shit. Someone's going through a major awakening. Major, major, major breakthrough. It's like a fucking revelation. Show me Taurus's messages. It's insane. Let go. This is someone that you let go of for a lot of you. Or oh, someone is letting go of something. Listening to their angels. Someone is receiving downloads, downloads. Powerful ones, strong ones. Hard to ignore. Divine intervention. Show me more. Now again, this is something that you continue to surrender. Meditation brings answers, yes. This is a lot of you. You're having to continue to surrender and let go and release. And you're doing it very well, you know. You're doing it very gracefully. 
Do we want more? Oh, sugar probably is too many. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Choose a new direction. Yeah, but this is someone that you are adamant on putting behind you. Whether you have to let go every single fucking day, this is what you are doing. Go you. Because you find this very unlikely. You're being told to trust. Mm -hmm. But you find this very unlikely. <clears throat> you are continuing to surrender this. And I feel like that's your advice. Continue to do so. Someone needs some serious recovery. It's all going down in perfect timing. Okay. The divine's in control. Big time. So you keep surrendering. You keep releasing. You keep doing your daily rituals to release. Whether that's just lighting a candle and setting an intention. Whether that's lighting some Paolo Santo. Whether that's lighting a smudge stick. Whether that's, you know, just having a, a you know, in the releasing in the shower. Let it go down the drain. However you do it, you're doing it right. Keep doing it. Because someone's about to take control. Someone can't stand you keeping on cement, like, carry on surrendering them. Because they feel it every single time. Every time. What a reading. Bloody hell. The bruise gone cold and everything. Very invested in that. <laughs> no idea what I'm going to name it. But I am going to jump onto the rest of the zodiac signs. Um, I'm only going to do like 10 minute videos. And hopefully we start getting more views on them. So I'll start doing more regular. Please do go and cross watch. Go and explore your birth charts. Um, but yeah, I love you all very much. And I hope this has brought you some clarity. Um, love you. See you tomorrow.